Alright, looks like we are good to go. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I know we're starting about two minutes earlier than normal, but I got a little nervous. So, hi, how's it going? I know I haven't been around for a week. I got sick last week. Uh, quite sick, actually. I pretty much was out of work on Tuesday. By Wednesday, my throat was almost completely swollen. My, uh, Friday, I was getting most of my voice back, but it was still hurting, had to work Saturday, and now I'm back! So, uh, great to see all of you lovely people, uh, don't think anyone's actually in the stream yet, but when you get here, you'll get here, and I am absolutely happy to see you. Uh, let's see, so it looks like my CLR browser may not be working, let's test that real quick. Test. Let's see, if I go to full screen, boop. Yep, looks like that's not actually working. Uh, so that sucks. Okay, well I'll worry about that when I when I worry about it. So today, uh, don't have any major plans today. I did get a challenge from one of my coworkers to try and make just a small uh, little game in an hour. So I think that's what we're gonna work on, unless someone comes up with a question or something specific that they need. Um, at which point we will worry about it then. So. Until then, we're just going to make a game, and uh, we're going to go, let's say, start up a 4.2 pro or 4.11.2 project, and I don't know what we're going to make. He suggested Breakout, but breakout, but we kind of did that already, so I don't really want to do that. Um, let's see. I don't know what we want to do. I want to make something small, something easy. Um something that everyone can get involved in. Um, hmm, what is a good, small, easy game that requires not too much? Um, first, let's go ahead and we're going to do this in the puzzle blueprints. Yes. Maybe. Maybe we'll use this twin stick shooter. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and, and do the puzzle one. Let's call this puzzle thing, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and include starter content with this one because I don't know what all I'm going to need because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Um, let's see. Bloop, boop, be doop. Ah, uh, got an hour to make a game. What are we going to make in an hour? Um, hmm. So this is so what this is is just simple boom that don't want to do that okay that's beyond simple since it isn't actually a game let's see puzzle controller does it do completely data only blueprint puzzle game mode boom Boom, set material, add score. Add score goes to here. Is there anything I really want to do with this? Not really. Where did the... Okay. What's the owning? So they put the score in the owning grid. That's weird. Okay, well. We're gonna do. Let's try something a little different. Um. Blueprint. Actor. 
move to space. Okay. Boom. Got this. Variable, boom. Oh, location, then boom. Lerp, location. This one is going to be editable. Show 3D widget, expose on spawn. Boom, boom. Graph. <coughs> So first, I need to make sure that it can accept auto receive input by player zero. Uh, yeah, well that works. Boom. First, make sure this works by doing print string. So all I'm doing right now is actually trying to see if I can set up a very small uh, game kind of thing. J just something that, that we can do, boom, it happens, and then we move on. Um, if anyone has any suggestions in the meantime, let me know, because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Um, ooh! You know what? I can make a better version of that uh, that Maybe no, I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, give me a sec. My phone's freaking out. Who is messaging me right now? Is it anyone important? Uh. Oh, it wasn't a message. Never mind. That was pointless. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, let's see. On clicked, we want to set off a timeline. Flip flop. Boom, reverse from end, play from start. Every update we're going to set relative location, lerp, between original location, lerp location, Boom, float, from two, I want it to go up to one, from this, I want it to go up to point five. We're going to have this at point seven five. Fine. Boom, select, and we're going to make this auto so that it curves a little bit. There we go. That's more what I want when finished. Press this and say OK.
Okay, so branch, we need a variable boom is updating. Check this. Set is updating. This way we only can update when it is not actually moving, when it is finished. Set is updating back to false. I mean, granted, it's a short time period, but this should prevent us from excessively selecting. And have to give it a second to you know get into place. So now when we press this, if I were to take the lerp location and move it over here, it does not move because I didn't tell it which actor to worry about. Cube set relative location. Also, I didn't tell it where the original location was, which event begin play, set original location, boom, get location. I think I need to use relative location for that. Let's find out. I hit play and I click it. It's still not moving. The cube. I know I've set it to class settings, class defaults, start with tick enabled. Um, just to ensure. Get player controller. Just in case. Okay, it's still not wanting to do what I want it to do. So. Oh. Maybe because I forgot to tell it to. Or not. Is it at least registering? Oh, also this. There it goes. So, oh. Okay, I know exactly what that next part was. It is in here. Hit use class keyframe. Don't need loop. Set it to two seconds. Boom. Now if we hit play and I select it, it goes. It says okay. Now I can select it. If I select it while it's moving, it doesn't do anything. There we go. So we have now made a moving block. Cool. Uh, let's see. Get rid of block grid. Uh, let's see. Hey, James, how you doing? I am feeling a lot better, actually. Uh, so thank you for asking. I appreciate that. What is going on over on Twitter?